so you probably can't see them because they're up there um, circling to gain height but I heard them through the double glazing they were really noisy and I thought you might like to hear how noisy they are they've gone quiet now because I'm talking It's odd how they, when they're circling, they sort of disappear and then appear again, depending on, I suppose, which way they're picking up the sun or... What? What? Shh. Meow. I'm just going to pause a sec. Annoyingly, they're going to fly into the sun. <laughs> well, not into the sun, but they're taking off now and making up their V formation. But the sun's a bit... There's a couple I can see. There's a lot I could see circling and then a V formation behind. I'll be able to turn away from the sun in a minute as they go over the house. Somebody asked me the other day which way are they going. Well, when they come over us, they're sort of heading, um, I suppose, nor nor'east rather than northeast. So as you can see it's a beautiful day and um, my arms aren't long enough to do this I sort of came out with the phone not attached to the tripod or the, the thing that I used to hold it I think if I pause this and try and attach it you might end I might end up cutting this off uh, we went to uh, yep yeah, it's not easy we went to, um, have, I went to have my hands scanned yesterday um, and my hands were feeling quite good on the way there and today they feel like shit because he, they were manhandled quite a bit during the scan and um, he sort of held my hand in a way that I wouldn't have held it, you know, sort of straightening out fingers and things to do the scan. Um, now I'm going to pause you. That's better. Um... Yeah, so my hands are not so good today. Uh, he he didn't find anything that I don't. I think that um, I don't think my rheumatologist didn't find it was. I mean, it's quite obvious. And um, what's going on with my hands? So there's a bit of tendonitis in this hand, my right hand, which is why I. It's this is the more painful hand, and I think the tendonitis is um, because this is the hand I use. Even though I grew up believing I was left-handed, because I write with my left hand. Um, I'm actually ambidextrous, ambidextrous and I think this is my dominant hand. Um, it's weird. So yeah, I'm using this hand and, and because these fingers are not working very well, I'm having to use this finger more to pick up the slack and I think that's getting strained. So <clears throat> my appointment with my rheumatologist is until the 4th of April and then um, we'll see what she says. But apart from days when my hands hurt the rest of me is not in bad nick <laughs> um yeah the, <laughs> my i got arthritis in my feet so getting up and walking from sitting or laying is is very uncomfortable until they i get going but but overall i think i might be able to make it around canada i'm not sure about mark he's got slow knees 
he calls them slow. He's been calling them slow for a couple of years now. I think it's a synovial problem. And he won't go and get um, hydrocortisone, not hydrocortisone, um, hydro hyaluronic acid injected into his knees, which the doctor said some time ago he could have, um, which would make a big difference, but he won't. Um, I can't make him and um, I just hope that he can get his knees going. He needs to ride his bike every day, which sometimes he forgets or doesn't do it and he needs to cycle for about 20 minutes each day to get the synovial fluid loosened up because as we get older it gets sticky but otherwise he's not in pain um, so we came back last night from the um, the clinic and by the time we got back to um, San Savannah it was about seven quarter past seven and I said to him can we stop at the pizza place and get um and go in and eat because I really want salad um, and they do a really big Caesar salad and I, 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 I don't know why I crave lettuce but we haven't had salad for several days because well if I buy it it sits there and I don't get around to making it and then it's gone off so I thought I really want salad and and he thought I was talking about getting a pizza to take home for him but I can't take I can't get a salad to take home it's not they don't they do take away pizzas but they don't do takeaway salad. So he thought we were going to just do that because he was tired and he wanted to go home. And and I walked in and he was a bit slow coming from the car and I walked in and got us a table and he came over and he went, what, no takeaway? And I went, well, no, I thought we were going to eat here. And he, was, he wasn't very happy for a bit because um, he was just so jaded because he'd driven it's a nearly an hour to the clinic and at that end of the day when we'd been up early for Jonathan at that end of the day we're both a bit weary um, so he'd driven an hour sat for an hour because it was a long old process getting booked in at the clinic um, and then just the whole waiting it was packed absolutely packed with people um, <clears throat> and then an hour home he was pretty jaded and he just wanted to come home so we we sat and ate there and i had this massive bowl they do such large portions of food um it's just not very i've said it before it's not french it's just not french i don't even think it's english you wouldn't get a pizza that size in england it's enormous so anyway they give you your pizza to bring hat back so they give you what you've not eaten to bring home and we've just had the rest of it between us with the polenta, cauliflower and parmesan cheese I made the other day and a little bit of pork and a little bit of salmon that we had yesterday with the raclette which was also a bit of a bits of meal, you know, bits of stuff out of the fridge. So we've had that um, and that's it. Apparently Ludo's coming this afternoon to fix the gate. We're not holding our breath. I, I think he keeps forgetting. It's not necess It's not so important, but it would be nice if it was a job that he got done. Um, but apart from that, tomorrow is two months from Canada. Um, and I know that for um, we're going to be so distracted in a couple of weeks time that 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 three weeks will rush past. And we'll be looking back and thinking, oh, my God, we've only got this amount of time to get ready. But. I really feel that things are moving on. I looked back at um, a vlog I made, which I privatised for some reason. I think it was um, somebody had um, become a bit threatening last year. And I looked back and I'd obviously um, unpublished some vlogs. And one that I'd unpublished is the one about talking about we're going to get a Debbie for the shutters and talking about renewing these shutters and I made that in April and the new shutters are going to be fitted in April so that's a year it's taken part of that I think is to do with that there was a, a short a wood shortage and I think there was a, a global wood shortage wasn't there for I don't know whether it's still going on but they said to us at the time if you order wood you'll wait months but somebody also said to us um, that wood is the best of the three choices. It was a choice of plastic, um, aluminium or, or wood. And they said that wood is the best 
insulator. So we went for wood thinking, well, that's okay, we'll wait. And it is okay, and we have waited, but they'll be ready in April to be fitted. Um, so that's exciting. Still waiting for the micro station. That's held up bureaucratically. I picked up the other day that an email hadn't been answered and checked with the person that wrote the email. Have you received a reply to this? No. So he kicked ass. The um, Gabion Entreprise kicked ass. Our devs said they would do it yesterday. So we're waiting. And um, I note that Trengilly, aka I can't remember your other name now on um, your new name on Tattle, has entered Tattle again um, in seconds. And I have been waiting since the 9th of February. I think my IP address is blocked. Um, and I think Tattle are just being asses and saying there's a queue. La la la, we'll let you know when you're at the, the top of the queue. Well, I don't think they will because he's just arrived. He's just arrived in seconds and I'm still sitting and I can't log out. That's what's so frustrating. I can't log out and try another login. Um, it's, it's a pisser. It's a pisser. I don't need to be on. Well, I don't need to be on there. But now and again, I do have something to say. And now and again, I would like to reply to somebody. And there is a particular person I'd like to fucking block. Um, and you can't do that if you're a lurker. You can't block them. Um, I imagine him as Gollum. You know, that sort of my precious thing. And straggly and skinny and ugly and smelly so yeah it would be good to join just so that i can so so that i don't have to look at a po the post from someone that i find um can't think of the word anyway i hope you enjoyed the gru um i might have ruined it by my following on with an update but um my channel my rules uh, have a good weekend